don't need that. Yeah. in there.
somebody to invent, right? Yeah, somebody's gonna need to invent something to get this stuff. Because <laughs> we're sick of doing this. It's taking up like maybe what, two minutes? Oh, every five minutes after you drill. Ah, come on. Time means money, and we're wasting time trying to get this sucker out. Uh, you gotta go like this, though, honey. What? You gotta go. Come on, you motherfucker. Get out. Want to record that, don't you? You gotta cuss at it. That would come out. Okay, this time. 30 seconds. time you have for that one? Uh, maybe five seconds. Before it goes back? Mm -hmm. You can tell the... See one tire. One side inside is smooth. Then the other side has like little lip. lip stoppers. So you put the one the lip on the outside and it stops it. 
but sometimes I just kind of force it a little bit. Go in there and get that Mickey Mouse ears, honey. <laughs> Mickey Mouse ears? You always call things what they aren't. Well, open that and tell me what it looks like. <laughs> Mickey Mouse ears? <laughs> Told you. Here. <laughs> but I need half inch one. Oh. Not three quarter. Sir, then you just have to first. I want to use my x-ray vision all over the bottom. <laughs> you said they were in a bag. I said in the toolbox. No, it's not. That's how it's plumber's toolbox. I need like this. Since you don't like the trays and you have so much stuff, have you ever thought about how it's changed since when you started plumbing way at the beginning? And how was it before you had stuff like this and all the stuff that you have now? Have you thought about it? Yeah, I thought I thought about it plenty plenty of times. <clears throat> like back in the like how Lilia would say in the old days. <laughs> Back in the old days, we did um, cast iron vents and we had to like uh, use torch, lead, oakum to pack the pipe. And cancer? Shit. Yeah, <laughs> cancer written. <laughs> Pay attention. Yeah, so <laughs> it is, it's come a long way from being in plumbing for almost 20, 20 plus years. 22 years? Yeah. No, 20, yeah, 22 years. Getting old, aren't you? Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> now you have Mickey Mouse ears? <laughs> now we have Mickey Mouse ears. Holy shit. Before, you yeah, use these kind of straps right here. The, oh, yeah, I remember those. The plumber's tape strap. They call it the plumber's tape back then. Too. Really big, thick ones. Yeah. So, yeah, I thought about it. It's like, damn. If we had these back then, I mean, if we had these tools and this modern stuff back then, Everybody would have been a plumber. I mean, it's been it was it, it's it was hard. You had to you had to use a, a handsaw to cut your PVC pipes, and then you had to um, use like a they call it a, a pipe cutter for the the cast cast iron pipe. You had to chain link it and then tighten it up and then snap that pipe apart. And then you have to file the edges so it won't cut the rubber and whatever. The gaskets. Yeah, so, yeah. I remember all that. If all these were available to us back then, I mean, everybody would have been a plumber. Everybody and their cousin and their dog? Yeah, everybody, their cousin could be uh, labeled as true wannabe plumbers. <laughs> but there's, there's still a lot, lot of them out there, wannabe plumbers, like JD plumbing. <laughs> Who the hell does it? <laughs> and then he used PVC pipe and black pipe, Which merged them together. It didn't work. And he used just a regular primary glue. Doesn't work. So I'm chemistry. Chemistry, yeah. Simple chemistry. Yeah, that we taught in our home school.
doesn't work at all. And these, I don't know, it just pisses me off that people out there think that they know what they're doing, but really that they, they don't. Even though plumbing has gotten easier over the years, it's still by code. You can only do so many 90s. Okay, so you can't exceed 360 yeah. Yeah, on, in your, on your in one run. And we know this. Yeah. And every time we go to um, plumbing fiascos that they want us to fix, yeah. most of the time they're breaking code because they don't know code. Yeah. So even though the products have gotten more innovative, more easier to handle, even that us females like, you know, Elizabeth and Abby and Laura and myself can help you and actually help plumb and, and assist you, um, we still are not privy to the code of the state. And so that's where you come in because you're making these runs and as you're thinking about it, you're, um, a lot of these structures that we come don't come with blueprints and they're mm -hmm. just kind of put up. So we have to come in and you have to basically engineer every run so that we know what we're doing. So your, your brain is probably going a hundred miles an hour. <laughs> But the code is what's really um, is is the point. Yeah. It's okay. So even though um, the I guess I've already said it, the products are great. The actual code is what is lacking, and a lot of people don't understand that. And that plumbing code book is it's huge yeah, it's, <laughs> it's big it's yeah. thick and depending yeah. on what you're doing because it changes with the freezing yeah. temperatures and then um, it gets updated like every two years or so because as a journeyman licensed plumber i have to do my continuing education every two years because the code book is being updated so i have to be updated by taking that continued education so right. basically we're not missing a step but that's what you got to do. I mean, code, code is code, plumbing code. If you do it wrong, you're going to flood the house. It's going to cost you a couple hundred dollars, couple of hundred, thousands. thousands of dollars. Yeah. And then you if that. you do the sewer wrong, the sewer smell is going to be in the house and it's going to create. And we've seen that a lot, code. even in restaurants, you have the sewer smell in the bathrooms and stuff. Yeah, especially in the restaurant restroom because back then they didn't have any peat, um, trap primers install in the P trap for the drain. So what happens is the water inside the P trap evaporates, which is supposed to have water in the P trap so it can stop the sewage air from coming back into the building. Right. So the water evaporates inside the buildings, that's where the water came from. So if you restaurant owners out there, put water in your P trap, in the restaurant drains. Yeah. On the floor drains. <laughs> Yeah, put some water in it, right? Put yeah. some water in it every month or so, and then... It should be okay. should be okay. It's the tip of the month. Copper penny tip Copper of the month. Penny. Copper penny. Copper penny. Copper penny. my labor at. Oh no. Camera person's here. <laughs> Camera slash labor. Thirty. 
baby. <laughs> what you been doing? All dirty. <laughs> Okay, give our viewers a summary of what we did today. We did some top out for restroom, outside restroom, basically an outhouse, but modern outhouse. We did top out for sewer, the sink drains, the vents for the toilet, sink, and then um, shower. And then we did both the hot, hot cold water lines. So where are we going? Hey bro, we're going home. <laughs> hey bro, we're going home finally. <laughs> well good, it was a good day. I had fun. Uh, we did the top out, I guess he's explaining it. And um, what else did we do? She burned out. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun though. I, I learned a lot of things. And I hope that you learned a lot of stuff today too. Also to know that small business owners, it's you have to put the time and the effort in it. And, Right now we're traveling and so we have to drive. We're in Arizona now, so we're driving back into New Mexico. And we had to put the time and effort in there. <clears throat> we had to pack our lunch and even trying to eat healthy. I had a can of sardines that Abby packed for me and um, boiled eggs and almonds and water. It was basically my lunch today. So we're gonna head home and have dinner. But thank you so much for joining us on this podcast. Or what is this? It's not the podcast, it's um, a vlog. Thank you so much for joining us on this vlog. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, you know, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like it and also hit the bell notification. So when more of these videos upload, you'll be notified. But thank you so much for joining us and take care out there and have a good one. Bye-bye. Make sure, make sure you comment. E, bro. Thanks for watching. I can't pay you. Thanks for your help. sugar you're not supposed to eat the sugar so the question is is who's the boss we don't need that yeah